today's video, I'm going to be building three different kitchens in Bloxburg with three different budgets. The first budget being $1,000, the second budget being $10,000, and the third budget being $100,000. Also, I need to address the elephant in the room, which is my stink. My Bloxburg is currently broken, my emotes aren't working, my marvelous moods is not working, everything is not working, and I stink. So you know what, don't judge me. We've all been there, okay? I just kind of look like a stinky, feminine slenderman. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so the f <laughs> you can just see my stink cloud. So as you can see, my budget is exactly $1,000, so we can't go over the limit or under the limit. And because this is a kitchen, it's gonna be very, very small. I think this is gonna be like my most difficult one yet. I think I actually might place the furniture first because kitchen appliances are super expensive. Yeah, literally this fridge is $500. Like that's, that's already half my budget. I don't even know if I want a fridge. Um, no, we need a fridge. It's a kitchen. I don't know. Should I do it? I done it. Okay, well, that is already half of our budget gone. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, we also need a chair. Actually, it's a kitchen. We need more important things than a chair, Alaska. <gasps> Wait, there's this sink. You know what? We need a sink. So, what's like the cheapest counter? Can I put a sink inside of a basic counter? I better because I can't go back on my money. That's one of the rules of this video. I cannot go back. If I can't place a sink on this counter, I'm going to be mad. Sink. Moment of truth. Oh, thank God we can. So far we've got a sink and a fridge and we've only got $240 left. Okay, this is ridiculous. I need I need at least like some walls. You know what? It can just be a mini kitchen. Okay, we can also have like a little storage unit here. It's 40 bucks. This mug's 35 bucks and this one's 20. So this actually ends up cheaper. Oh my gosh, we only got $128 left. You know what? This kitchen's just not gonna have a stove or an oven. Okay, what can I buy? We can't even buy a coffee machine. We can buy a toaster for $128, but then we'll only have $8 left. And we only got $8 left. So I guess with my last ounce of money, we can paint one thing. We can literally only paint one thing because it costs like $5 to paint something. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have a white kitchen. We only have $3 left and this is our beautiful kitchen. I don't think I've ever seen something as beautiful as this kitchen. Okay, jokes aside, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so the next kitchen, we have a budget of $10,000. So hopefully this can be bigger <laughs> than this pathetic kitchen, but not too big because again, kitchen appliances in Bloxburg are like super expensive. Maybe we can like do an industrial kitchen. Okay, industrial kitchen kitchens kind of look something like this. You know what? I actually haven't tried an industrial kitchen before, so this can either be really good or really bad. Also, this is not the time to experiment with different things in this challenge, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Watch me hate it at the end. Okay, we've painted it brick. I don't know how I feel about this. We can just do like these rectangular tiles, kind of different, kind of funky. Oh, and before I forget, we need to add the roof. Okay, now for the windows, because it's like a relatively dark building, I'm gonna make this wall like one big window, just because I like it when there's lots of like natural light that come in. Okay, now we can like outline this window to make it look more like realistic. Guys, I just realized I only have a budget of $10,000. Why Why am I wasting my money using structural beams on a window? What am I doing? Okay, that's the window. It actually looks pretty cute. I'm glad I done that. Now I want the kitchen to be over here. So I guess the first thing we can add is the fridge. And you know what? I don't care if it's ugly. I'm just gonna buy the cheapest one. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna buy the cheapest everything. I don't even care. $60 cabinets will never look so good in my life. Okay, now we need counters again just gonna buy the cheapest one and then in the middle we can have the oven guys i didn't think about this the oven that i wanted to like fit in here is like 3600 why must i buy the most expensive things okay so obviously because it's like an industrial kitchen we can paint everything black or maybe the countertops can be like granite oh la la she's so fancy also this oven's kind of ugly so oh my gosh it's so dark also why did i make this kitchen so big okay the reason i'm not putting anything in here yet is because i'm afraid I'm gonna run out of a budget. I'm just gonna finish up the kitchen first. And if I have the budget, then I'll add one. Okay, so microwave there. Oh, we need a good old coffee machine. Okay, I think that's everything in the kitchen. We also need like an island bench. Basic counters are only like $100. So instead of wasting my money and buying three, I can just buy two and kind of like extend it out. But we also need some chairs, but like we've got $6,000 left. I don't know why I'm stressing. I'm literally like, oh my God, I don't have money for chairs. Like, go oh, chill. Maybe it's because you spent $2,000 on a window. Oh, these art chairs are kind of cute. If we add four, that's like $450 though. Do I want to spend that much on chairs? Oh wait, these are cuter, but they're more expensive. These are the fluent stools, but they're, they're like 240 bucks. I'm contemplating whether or not to buy them. Is it a smart decision buying these chairs? No. Am I going to buy them? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. You know what? I think that was a smart decision. It actually looks really nice. And over on this corner is where I want to have the dining table. Actually, 
you know what, instead of like a really long dining table that would take up all this space, I'm just gonna put like a cute little round coffee table. Also, black furniture is like so hard to clean. I have this black bedside table and I'm literally like constantly cleaning it. And then we can have some industrial chairs and then we can have like a little statement piece on the dining table. So just like, I don't know, a fruit bowl. Okay, so we've got like nearly 4,000 left. I think I might put storage on the back of this kitchen. Okay, so I guess on this shelf we can have like a few coffee mugs. You know what goes really nice with like industrial themed interiors is lots of plants. I feel like adding greenery to an industrial space just makes it stand out more. We can have like three plants on the island bench. Also back here I might even add like another window. Also I just realized we need a hood light. Oh my gosh wait that's kind of perfect. There's this like cabinet hood. That way we don't have to waste our money and get rid of this cabinet. We can just put it underneath. Okay now before we add anything else I need to fix up this lighting because as you can see pitch black in here. So neon horizontal lights would look really nice in a industrial kitchen. Okay and we'll also place it on the island bench as well. Or actually maybe above this dining table we can have a few pendants. So we can have like one, two, three. And then this one can hang down a little bit. There we go. You know what? That is kind of everything. Okay, we've got $900 left. Okay, we're definitely missing a chandelier up the top. It sounds like $280, but I feel like it would look really nice above the island bench. Well, you know what we need in here? A really big New York City painting, like right there. Oh, we've got $163 left. I feel like I'm missing something. Do you guys? Oh my gosh, guys, I, <laughs> I forgot the oven. It's just empty. You know what? It's, it's fine. It's fine. Who, who even needs an oven in the kitchen? Okay, maybe it's to make this painting stand out. We can add like wall lamps next to it like this. Oh, jokes on me. I can't even afford two lamps. I can only afford one and we've only got $13 left. Oh my gosh, wait, I just thought of something, a little build hack if you will. What if I put the short grass inside of this plant? Okay, that kind of just looks like, looks like something from like The Last of Us. Looks like a zombie plant. Anyway, moving on to the $100,000 kitchen. Okay, so we got exactly 100,000. So we're gonna do a really nice modern luxury kitchen. Okay, so what I usually do for the $100,000 room is make it two story, but I feel like that would look a little bit silly for a kitchen. So we're just gonna make this one story, but we're gonna add like different sections. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, this is gonna take forever, but it will be worth it. So I'm literally just gonna paint one single tile like this and then make that marble. And then for the tile next to it, I'm just gonna make this like a slight darker shade than the original marble. Is this worth it? I don't know, probably not, but it, you know what? It definitely is time consuming. I can say that. Like I'm literally, I literally have to paint every single individual block. I wish there was an easier way of doing this. There is not. Oh my god, just when I thought the floor was finished, I still gotta do this floor and this floor. Okay, there we go. The floor is all finished. I'm not sure which angle I want the kitchen. I think I might place it here. I've kind of gotten used to doing angled kitchens since my alphabet video. Now, for the fridge, we can buy the most expensive one, but it doesn't actually look pretty. I think I'm just gonna use like this Arctic fridge. Okay, you know what? We're gonna buy $4,000 ovens because, I mean, we can. And we'll put this like really fancy Tuscan wood lamp like that. I hate the material, so I'm actually gonna change that to marble. You know what? I I think I'm just gonna buy the most expensive cabinets. They're like $500, but you know what? We can. Actually, no, we can't. I have to remember that like, kitchen appliances in Bloxburg are really expensive, so I'll probably go for like $100,000 real fast. Okay, we also need some cabinets up here. The only thing I hate about these cabinets is that you actually have to go in and like place the plates, which is just so annoying. Like I kind of have to like maneuver my way inside. <laughs> I'm just gonna put plates in here. No bowls, just plates. Okay, so we'll extend these cabinets like this. Okay, there we go. It looks kind of cute. Okay, you know what? The the fridge can go on the side over here because it's kind of ugly. Okay, now what we can do to make this kitchen really cool is if you have the transform tool, we can put like a basic cube like this and then resize it so it's like this and then put a taped photograph on top of the basic shape. And then if we have the transform tool, we can kind of hide this in the fridge. And then once I get out of build mode, we can change this decal for like a smart fridge. Probably makes no sense, but I'll show you once I'm done. It'll look really cool. Why is the cabinet literally going inside of this cabinet? Can you like chill, please? What are you doing? What? Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Why is it? Why is it going inside? Okay. Okay, now at the back here, I want to make this fully custom wallpaper. Okay, I think it's looking kind of good. We also need some sinks. I feel like fancy kitchens always have two sinks, so we can just add one there and then one there. Oh my gosh, guys, I wasn't paying attention to my budget. How do I only have 67,000 left? We're nearly halfway through the budget and we're not even done with the kitchen. Oh my god, I need to chill. Okay, one thing I do want though is a big, elegant island bench, but we're going to make my own island bench because we are fancy like that. Oh my god, I love the transformed tool. Honestly, transform tool for president. 
2024. Okay, and we can do something cool for the bottom of the island bench. We can put like two horizontal wedges and just do something like that. I feel like I'm missing something or maybe that's just me being paranoid. Okay, now I don't want to add too much in the kitchen because it's like a very modern luxurious kitchen. I feel like adding too much clutter would just look silly. Okay, so just one more cabinet here to kind of close off the space. Oh my gosh, this looks so different with a roof. That's crazy. Now we need a really big elegant chandelier on top of this island bench. Okay, you know what? This can either be hit or miss. I'm thinking like three island hoods like this. I don't know if that looks good or bad. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool, maybe. And um, guys, that was only half of our budget and we still got the dining room and the pantry. You know what? I'm thinking maybe one massive window. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know windows could be that big. We're gonna use pillars as curtains. I don't know if this will work. So four round pillars like this. Oh my gosh, wait, I think it might work. Oh, and there we go. We have custom made curtains. Okay, we also need a dining table. So I think I'm just gonna use this modern dining table. You know what? We can make it really big. I think that actually looks kind of cool. Nothing screams a luxurious dining table, like a fruit bowl. We're gonna be fancy. We're gonna buy the most expensive chairs. Now the walls are a bit empty. So what we're gonna do is put these little basic inserts like this. And then we put some good old horizontal lights inside. I don't like the plants in front of it. I feel like they're blocking it. So I'm gonna put them next to it instead. There we go, bada beam, bada boom. Wait, what if we put like a waterfall in the middle? Guys, I changed my mind. Hold on. I'm always changing my mind. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks way better. You know what? Bye, loser. We're adding these instead. They're like $2,000 each, but you know what? Oh my gosh, how do I only have 40,000 left? I need to stop wasting my money on silly things and actually finish this kitchen. Okay, for the pantry, we can use these modern reveal dolls. Okay, so I was gonna make this like a wine cellar, but I feel like a pantry would just look better. And I'm thinking maybe we can have counters at the bottom. And then for the rest of the shelves, we can just use these wooden oak shelves and kind of just resize them. So they kind of come out like this. Okay, you know what? The pantry is kind of looking fresh. We need like a round chandelier to kind of elevate the space. You know what? We can just use this circular chandelier. Obviously you will literally hit your head. So we're gonna have to resize it down. Oh my gosh, it's so white in here, but I feel like a pantry is meant to be white. And then maybe on these bottom shelves, we can just put like baskets and then we can fill them up with like fruit. And then maybe on this top shelf, we can just have like a bunch of groceries. Mmm, the Robo's. Is Robo's even a cereal? Because I would definitely buy it. I just realized I'm allergic to gluten and I can't eat cereal. Hashtag sad days. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I'm adding so many Roros. Okay, what else can we have up here? Oh, maybe some jars. Yeah, Bloxburg has these jars, so we can add like them up here. Or maybe a few like spice racks as well. Okay, there we go. Now, finally, the last thing we need in this pantry is a sink. Yikes, this is a very luxurious kitchen. I feel like the one thing it's missing though is like a really long, elegant carpet. Okay, there we go. I think carpet made it a little bit better. Now, finally, we have $20,000 left, surprisingly. So I think I'm just gonna add like structure beams above the roof. Okay, so the three kitchens are all finished. <laughs> Unfortunately, my recording cut off at the end, but I had like, I think it was three dollars left. And I'm very excited to show you the end result. Okay, so the first kitchen we have. Okay, so this is the a thousand dollar kitchen. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot how bad this is. Literally, the only thing I could afford was a fridge and a sink and like whatever this is. Like I didn't even have the budget to add a roof or a floor. It's just out in the open. So that's the $1,000 kitchen. Moving on. Okay, so the next kitchen we have is the $10,000 kitchen. Now for this theme, I decided to go for like an industrial kitchen. At first I didn't like it, but I think it's grown on me. Like I love working with like dark colors. So I really like this black kitchen. Also, we ran out of a budget. So this is just empty, kind of sad. And because it was an industrial theme, I went with like this beautiful New York City decal. So it turned out pretty cute. And this wall is kind of empty. I just added like a few storage units and like a little dining table. But yeah, that is the $10,000 kitchen. So moving on to the last kitchen. Okay, so I just realized you guys actually don't know the end result. I added like this little walkway into the kitchen, which was kind of cute. Anyway, this is how the $100,000 kitchen turned out. It's like the complete opposite to the industrial kitchen, which is crazy. I don't know if I like it or not. I honestly don't really like working with lots of whites. So over here, we have the kitchen. I do really Really like this custom made dining table. I think that was a pretty cool touch. And adding these hood lamps on top of the island bench. I don't know, I saw someone on Pinterest do it and I thought it was really cool, so I decided to do it. And then for the back of the kitchen, I added custom made wallpaper. And the kitchen was a bit dark, so I decided to add windows on the side just to give it a little bit of light. And now this is my favorite bit of the kitchen. So here's the fridge. And as you can see, it's like a smart fridge. It has a little smart fridge decal, which is kind of cute. Lastly, we have the pantry, which is over here. And as you can see, lots of, lots of robos. But yeah, that is the $100,000 kitchen all finished. But I am super excited to do the bathroom next. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!